So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another first descendant video and today guys I bring you just an opinion but an opinion I think many people will agree with upon you actually playing the open beta to this game on October 20th and that is Jaber, this guy right here is probably the most important character or player in the game when it comes to the void intercepts which are this game's raids this game's end game this game's well best source of a loot this guy is without shadow of that needs to be in that team of four it really does today we're getting to all how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so jaber i don't think that's how it's pronounced i'm not even sure Within the beta, he's probably the one character out of all of these who I will state they are vastly different in many, many ways. Aax is kind of like a titan. He drops down a bubble which can protect you for about two seconds if you're getting shot at by a big raid boss. Um, but it's quite cool. We have we have Sharon and Bonnie who are in your face, quick characters made to get in and out, especially Bonnie in and out in a flash we have blair and viesa viesa is probably my favorite character besides jaber who are kind of like middle of the road characters um who are kind of balanced we have lepic and ultimate lepic who's basically an ultimate version of him same dude slightly better stats same same abilities he kind of let me down the most i'm not even gonna lie i have to try and all these he let me down the most but then we get to jaber jaber guys is the one character in this beta who I will class as a medic. Now you're wondering why this is important. Let me tell you, those void intercepts are brutal. I did this earlier multiple times, multiple attempts. On normal, by the way. Level 30, all of us are level 40. Level 30. And these things are absolutely brutal. You've seen it on screen now. I was actually fighting against a grave walker. I'm calling him the crab. I mean, although he isn't too difficult, you can get him down. We got him down. Considering the fact this is a level 30, you need somebody who's going to be able to heal. You only got three lives amongst the four players. If you die three times amongst the four players, you're done. It's over. It's finished. And this is only a level 30. This shit goes up to a level 46, and that's just on a normal void intercept battles normal pyromaniac i'm telling you now would absolutely obliterate we go to the hard guys and these are level 55 these are level 55 yes and that's what i'm saying jaber is probably the most important character especially for a build uh, for a team i mean what else he offers is an incredible I mean, he's a sort of, it's okay. It's much, much better when we worked in uh, liaison with this one here, a total recall. This is completely pointless to me. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I've got a semi decent build. You could probably make it much better. But no, it's about this here, the medical turret. This, guys, is utterly incredible. When a player goes down, he's in the midst of a battle, you can drop this on their head and revive them. And still stay alive. I did it. I tried it. You'll probably see that on screen now. I've got the clip. I think I recorded it. But yes, this dude here, j Bat, is a must for any team. And you'll learn this as you play. As you play the better, you'll learn this. Um, like I said, is one. I don't think. I think maybe uh, Galay uh, may have some form of recovering HP. But it's only for herself, I believe. I don't think it affects teammates and i know she has a lot of moves which actually uh displete her own hp or health points so yeah it is jaber jaber is the one couple of you use him even better but he's going to be a main a main dude in regards to getting through these things getting through these things because although abilities are a major point in this game a lot of the characters have good abilities when it comes to these bosses uh, and the combos you can use with your runes. Although they can be effective. They ain't effective as guns. 
shotguns way more effective because at the end of the day these bosses are brutal they stump you they got all kinds of abilities of their own chasing you around corners and shit you need to for a lot of the time shoot from afar so you gang up with your team and shoot from afar and if you've got characters that can heal you at the same time that's what you need so yes guys Jaber, in my opinion is probably the most important character in this beta without a shadow of a doubt when it comes to end game activities and getting through them I just thought I'd make a quick video showcasing this to you guys so a lot of people will probably be picking characters I like the look of uh, like the, with the pretty effects those pretty abilities Jaber isn't one of those but he is very very important and there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one